Perhaps you're not used to talking about spirituality. Or maybe it's the case that you're not sure what spirituality is or what it means in your life. Maybe you were taught prayers as a child or some practices or whatever it may be, lighting candles or saying bedtime prayers, and it just doesn't make it for you. And maybe you hear friends talk about going to yoga and breathing or doing meditation and how it's fulfilling for them, but it just doesn't seem right for you. And you're just not sure what to do. You're wondering if you're missing something. A number of years ago, I worked with lots of individuals in several different groups of people asking those same kinds of questions that were trying to put together what spirituality was about for them. And it was because of those questions that I decided to write a book that really, I think, tries to address or does address what it means to identify spirituality in your own life. And that book is The Good Road journey along a spiritual path. Now, I think this book is unique, and that's not just because I wrote it. I think it's unique because it's different from many other books in spirituality. If you know what it is that you want, if you know what your practices are, for instance, if you know that uh, Buddhist mindfulness or Buddhist compassion meditation is right for you, then it's easy to find books on that. If you're interested in Christian mysticism or Jewish mysticism, you can walk into a bookstore and find those books very easily. But what if you're not sure what's right? There are books written for beginners, but many of those beginner books are entryways into certain belief systems and certain dogmas. They come from either a religious perspective or from a perspective that says they're spiritual but not religious, but still have a lot of dogma involved in them, beliefs that you need to accept. I talk about that in the video, Dogma and Belief, so you may want to check that out. Now, the only dogma that I have, and you know, to be honest, I, I do have one belief that goes with this spirituality stuff, but that's that all of us already have a spiritual dimension in life. Just like we each have a physical dimension, our bodies, just like we each have a personality, emotions, a way of thinking, those are all different dimensions. So there's another dimension, our spiritual dimension. The thing is, when we talk about our physical dimension, we know what we need to do to develop the physical dimension of our life. We know that if we want to develop the physical dimension, we're probably going to have to pay attention to what we're eating and make sure we're eating a healthy diet. And we're going to need to do, you know, engage in an exercise routine, whether that's walking steps or working out or whatever it may be. That's pretty clear for us and easy to understand. But this spiritual stuff, we're not sure where that spiritual stuff really is in our lives. Many people are confused by that and it gets lost in a lot of verbiage. So that's where the good road comes into play. One of the things I tried to do in the good road was make things very simple and easy to understand for a person who didn't want to get caught up in a bunch of metaphor about things. And while I explain that more, remember to subscribe to this video and to click the bell. So in the good road, I do draw on the wisdom traditions that have inspired me the most, Christianity, Buddhism, and Native American culture and practices. But I use those things as illustrations, as way to tell stories. I try to provide simple explanations for common practices, not with a lot of religious verbiage, but really sort of a how-to kind of approach. But most importantly, I provide exercises. There are ways in which this is sort of a workbook that will help you reflect on where your life is, things you've done in the past, things you've experienced in the past, and where you are today to help you understand right here, right now, as the person you are, how is spirituality flowing in your life? And I think it's really helpful to consider some of those kinds of things. One of the best parts of the book is the second half. I tell the story of five different people. Each of those people are very different from each other, and they've organized this spiritual dimension of their life in very different ways. 
And you'll see that as you read them. And, and these stories sort of become a foil for readers. They help you to see that, yeah, I'm sort of like this person here and sort of like that person in, in this other way. And you begin to find yourself by hearing these other stories. So I think that will be very helpful for you as you try to explore and answer some of these questions for yourself. Now, the title, The Good Road, is very significant to me. I wrote this during the time in my life when I was spending uh, and involved with a lot of Native American people. And one of the things that I heard them talk about a lot was the way to describe people who were Native American, who were living in, based on cultural values and trying to lead life in the way that it should be from a Native American perspective, you know, that they understood that they were related to all things, that they needed to uh, care for others and care for the earth. And they talked about this in terms of the good red road and someone walking along the good red road, or are you following the good red road? And I thought about this image of the good red road and I thought that's such a powerful and good image for the spiritual life. You know, the good road may be different for you than it is for me, but it's going to be based on the rootedness you find in your own life that opens you to the spiritual dimension. So I think that's really important to understand that, that this, the title itself is, in, in, in essence, borrowed from Native American people. And it approaches, the book approaches spirituality in the way that Native American people taught me. I begin by telling the story of, of someone explaining to me that spirituality isn't about things out there or things that are mystical or magical, but that from a Native perspective, spirituality is about the way we live. It's about what we do each and every day as we encounter others, encounter everything in our life and whether we hold that with respect and reverence so that spirituality is something we manifest. So all of that comes into the book, but again, it's very simple, it's easy reading, and I think it will help you come to a greater understanding of spirituality in your own life. The Good Road is available by order through any place you typically get books. You can read more about The Good Road on my website, lukavar.com. Leave some comments for me about how you understand spirituality in your life, what it means for you to walk a good road. And be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, share the video with others. And most importantly, know that I really appreciate you taking a few minutes with me today to explore spirituality on this channel. Thank you.